What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're taking a look at SSL's XEQ2 because Plugin Boutique has this on sale for its lowest price ever, which is $34.99. The sale's going to run until July 31st, 2023, so you've got a little over a week to pick this up at this price. And I'll have a link in the description if y'all want to check this out, learn more about it, or pick it up. So this is the SSL EQ2, which has a feature, or features the most filter types I've ever seen presented in an EQ. We'll take a look at that in just a second uh, but first let me go over the controls and then of course i'll let you hear what it sounds like so when you open up uh, ssl's xeq2 this is what you're presented with and we're going to hit play on this track and you see we have just the analyzer going right now no just promise you never let go like rose all right, so a little different with this EQ where you have your frequencies up at the top uh, versus the bottom, uh, but to get bands in here, you just double click as you see the, the instructions say here, and we just double click to add some bands. I don't know how many you can add, but I've never had a problem. I've never ran out of bands uh, trying to add them uh, with this EQ as I generally just need three or four. I usually use this when I need to do something uh, really surgical. And we've got input and output controls in the upper left and right. We can do parallel EQ with this button. And then we have analyze, which is already turned on. And you've got input and output meters as well. So a lot of visual feedback that you get with this EQ, which is a really fun EQ to use. It takes a little getting used to, and I'll show you why. As you hover over this, we're going to get some options to adjust your hertz. Gain, which will switch us to a bell. There we go. Gain. And then also your Q value. So even though I like this user interface, it just takes a little second to get used to. Once you also over hover it, hover over it, you get this uh, diagram here. It's going to give you your high pass filter, your shelf, bell curve, shelf, and high cut. There we can solo, and if it's stereo track, we can do mid side processing as well. We can turn the band on and off with this button, and we can delete the band with that button. Now. The, where I said the uh, different types of filters that you can use with this EQ is just the most that I've ever seen in an EQ. So as we hit the type, you can see we've got asymmetrical, proportional, symmetrical, constant Q asymmetrical, it's just a lot of constant Q invert. I think it's maybe six or seven different uh, filters we can use now. The most popular ones you've got are at the front, where you've got symmetrical, which means it's going to boost. And you can see the diagram, too, which is really helpful, as well as a, a description of uh, what that uh, filter is. But you can uh, boost with a symmetrical. What you boost is going to be the same thing you cut. But if we switch this to uh, asymmetrical, now it's going to be a, a wide boost, but then a narrow cut. And then proportional we'll go to this one which is uh like a api eq is proportional as you boost it you can see it gets more narrow with the more gain uh, that you add all right so we're going to use this eq and eq this track so you can hear what it sounds like i'm going to hit play and then let's make some eq adjustments no just promise you never let go like rose Without you around, my heart goes cold. I'm frozen and floating on emotional waves. Trying to find my way. Nights like these, I miss hearing your heartbeat. Yeah. Like 
All right, so let's bring this in and out and hear what it's doing. I want to point something out with XEQ2 here that I feel is worth mentioning that's a very nice touch, but if you create a band uh, near the far ends of the frequency spectrum, uh, either low or high, it's going to assume that you want to do a high or low pass. So with the I double click a band down here about 20 hertz, uh, you can see it automatically created a high pass filter for me, which is really nice. If we did the same thing on the high end, it's going to automatically create a high cut filter. So I feel like this is a very nice EQ, and I love the features of all the different types of curves that you can do with it. But uh, one thing I would point out that I have to give a thumbs down to is that if we hover over this, we can solo the band, which is great, but there's no keyboard shortcut to solo it. Like, you have to click this solo. Maybe a little nitpicky there, but another thing I would like to see added to this EQ is uh, dynamic EQ. And another thing that's just a weird... Uh, quirk for me is that uh, as you're boosting or cutting where the gain is represented is all the way over here to the left now there's this little blue line is kind of telling you or you know pointing it over there as you can see it but I don't like having to move my eyesight all the way over to the left for me adjusting a band all the way over to the right um, I feel like the closer you are to the right uh, that should be represented on the right uh, one more thing is that uh, some EQs will show you what like musical note uh, that frequency range is, and this doesn't do that, so I would like to see that as well. Uh, but very, very feature-packed EQ here from SSL. Like I don't know another EQ that gives you all of these uh, different types. i got to go to the bell curve. Yep, all of these different types, which makes this a really fun EQ to use. So definitely comment and let me know what y'all think about this. If you already have this, let me know if you're using it and how you use it. And again, I'll have a link in the description if y'all want to check this out, learn more about it, or pick it up. And again, this is $34.99, lowest price it's ever been until July 31st, 2023. All right, if y'all enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then y'all know what to do.